of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara, like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara, to be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veins, through the mist and ancient trees. Ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And a king, yes, a king he will be. used to what is around us, the big things, like the territory we live in, its moods and joys and terrors, and the little things, where we eat, who we see, who we like and don't like very much. <laughs> what we do on a regular basis, so used to it that we don't even think about it, until we might have to leave it all behind, go somewhere new, Find out about the moods of a new territory. Meet new friends, start new habits. Arrow was spending the afternoon trying to decide whether he'd been a bit too bold when he told Gunda he would accompany her on her journey south. Arrow, Arrow, so forlorn. You've not looked so sad since the day you were born. You'd be sad too, Mopoke, if you were me. If I were you, I wouldn't be silly. I'd make friends with a local filly. But no, not Arrow. Had to boast. Forgot about things he'd miss the most. How did you read my thoughts? <laughs> yeah, well, I had to. I mean, who else could she ask? Who else is brave and strong enough to do it? It's a long way, South. Lots of dangers along the way. Thara? No way. <laughs> Too selfish. Has to be me. In the morning, Goonda will come up to me and beg me to accompany her, and I'll go. Leave my friends, the place where I was born, and just go. Arrow, Arrow, your mind's so narrow. Sometimes I think of the brains of a sparrow. <laughs> yeah? Well, that's all right for you. I'd like to see how brave you were if you had to make the choice. <laughs> Arrow, Arrow, think, be wise. You'll be all right. You'll acclimatise. There are rumours of the ghost horse being seen again, Echo. We gotta check it out. be very annoyed if you didn't. And we missed you. But I must go back tomorrow. There's news to spread about you and family to look after. I know. I will come back, Gunda. Really, I will. When I'm needed. And I'll be a good leader. Thara will teach me and I'll do my duty. I know you will, little one. You'll make us all very proud. But now I'm going to get some rest. I've got a big journey tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know that I can help you, Arrow. I don't know much about the South. Oh, anything? All I know I've heard from cousins. It's flatter down there. No mountains and big rivers, and it doesn't snow in winter. And there are lots of different creatures to those that live around here. <clears throat> Do you think I should go? 
Nobody will tell me. I've spoken to so many. That's probably because it's not up to them, Arrow. They can't make the decision for you. Whatever the future brings, it's in your hands. I suppose so. Thanks, Mrs Dingo. But all this thinking really hurts. Good luck. Wombat, are you in there? Oh, nobody home. Oh, you'll do, Skink. Oh, do, do you reckon there's a mean Brumby like the Brolga down south? Only bigger and stronger? Of course I can beat the Brolga, goes without saying. But if there's someone bigger, oh, I don't know. I wouldn't want to go if it's going to be too hard. What do you reckon? Hey! How do you like that? The manners of some creatures. <laughs> the manners of some creatures is right. Blocking me way into me own home. Wombat? Out of me way. Out of me way. Wombat, I'm thinking of going south. And I'm thinking of going to bed. Out of my way. If I go... Will you miss me? I'll miss you like a hole in the head. Master, master. Dumbbell Arrow has invaded your space. What? <laughs> what? Where am I? <laughs> oh no! The frog is hurt! from the Brolga by the man. I'm not safe anywhere. <laughs> oh, I hate to admit it, Farron, but I guess all this will be yours one day. And if it's yours, it can't be mine. help. Without you, I would have searched for Eurala forever and maybe never found him. Now I won't have to return with no news. Speaking of Eurala, where is he? He should be here to see you off. Well, we sort of said goodbye yesterday. Maybe this is his way of showing me that he's independent now. Maybe. Or perhaps he just couldn't bear the final goodbye. <laughs> that could be it too. Just give him my love, Boom Boom. And tell him I can't wait to see him when he's ready to rejoin us. Well, thanks again, everyone. I'd better make a start. 
Arrow's not here either. Is he going to keep you company on the journey south, Gunda? I thought about it long and hard. I got here without any trouble. I think I can manage at home by myself. Perhaps Arrow came to the same conclusion. He's strong and fast, but from what I've seen, I don't know how well he'd fit in. He's... Maybe someday, when he's more mature. Yes, that's it. Bye. Oh, you come along to say goodbye, and the someone you come along to say goodbye to is standing in the way. I do apologise, Wombat. Thank you, but I really must go. Yeah, that'd be right, that'd be right. Just because I turn up, you take off. It's not like that at all, Wombat, and you know it. Now say your farewell and let her get on her way. Oh, boy. Bye, Wombat. We will meet again. Bye. Bye. Safe journey. Arrow, Arrow, still forlorn. Haven't you noticed it's way past dawn? Right. What? If you want to follow your heart, get a move on, make a start. Past dawn? Gunda! Oh, I must have overslept. See you, Mopoke. <laughs> Gunda? Yeah. Who else? She's already left, Arrow. Gone? She went alone? I thought she needed an escort. Uh, when you weren't here, she thought you must have, um, changed your mind. Well, if she just waited, I could have told her that I'd spent all night thinking about it. And I decided I really want to go south. Face new challenges, see different things. Perhaps you didn't convince her of your outstanding qualities, Arrow. Oh, do you reckon? No, I tried. You did, Arrow. Maybe I should go after her. Yeah, that's it. Good idea. Show her your resourcefulness and hear for yourself what she thinks. Exactly what I was thinking, Benny. Gotta go, guys. My future awaits me elsewhere. And so does a lovely filly. Good luck, Thera. See you, guys! Why did you encourage him, Benny? <laughs> you heard what Gunda said about him. Because it's not our place to tell him the facts. Probably wouldn't believe us even if we did. Exactly, Boon Boon. He must hear it from her, as unpalatable as that might be. He may actually convince her to change her mind. Do you really think so? It's unlikely, but he'll learn something just by trying. These tracks are fresh, Echo. <laughs> patience, boy. Patience. Thara! My sister Gunda! Where is she? She's gone, Urella. Back home. She can't have. I haven't said goodbye properly. She waited, Urella. But thought you were showing her how independent you are. But I was going to surprise her down by the bottom of the ram's head. She might have turned down the track to the river. Remember I showed you? Oh, I forgot. Now you'll think I'm stupid and I won't see my sister. Nobody thinks you're stupid, Urella. Now why don't you go after her? She won't have gone far and you can say goodbye then. That's a good idea, Urella. Tell you what, I'll come with you. Mm, thanks, Thara. But this is something I've got to do by myself. Right. Off you go, then. We'll wait here till you get back. Goody! Goody! Oh, blast! She must be around here somewhere. Can't have gone too far. 
She must be... Aha! There she is! Gunda! Wait for me! Oh, I'm confused. That was one of the first things Thaura taught me. I should have been looking for landmarks. Can't stop now or I'll never catch up. I'll find Gunda. I can do it. A lone foal could lead us to the herd. Get up, boy. Yep. Should have waited. Arrow, it's. You shouldn't have come. I'm quite all right. I. There, there, there. It'll be all right now. Arrow's here to protect you. No time to lose. Let's go. Listen, Arrow, I. Listen? I'm listening, Goonda. That's me, Arrow. <laughs> all ears. Catch the slightest sound. Alert. Swift. It's how I survive. I'm sure it is, but I don't need any... Don't need a lesson in how to survive. But a filly like you, well, you need someone strong and brave, you know, in case of any unexpected trouble. That's just what I don't need. Don't need unexpected trouble? Who does? That's why I'm here. <laughs> uh, tell, tell, tell you what, I'll gallop ahead a little, scout out the way. Oh, really, Arrow? No I... need to thank me. Back soon. Oops. <laughs> Arrow, are you all right? Look, I really don't need any help. <laughs> no sweat, Goonda. I'm as good as gold. Back soon. <laughs> Arrow's always in such a hurry. Pity his mind is all in a flurry. Scamper, Scoot, don't think, just scurry. There's a horse that's truly a worry. <laughs> You're right, Mopoke. But what are you doing here? I miss your departure, if truth's to tell. So I flew along to say farewell. Thanks, Mopoke. But I wish I could get someone else to say farewell. He just doesn't get any hints. Hmm. Everything seems safe. I'll go back and get Goonda. don't know what to do. Arrow's a problem, there is no doubt. He can be such a bore when he hangs about. Gunda, I found you at last. Your Honor! Yeah! Your Honor, the man! Look out! of you, smart Alec. Oh! 
boy! for leading the man away like that. Bravery to the point where you were almost captured. Huh? It would be an honor to have you escort me south to the land of my father. <laughs> I'm glad we had a chance to say goodbye properly. So am I. Now you'd better get back and I'd better be on my way again. Yes, well, there's just one problem. Problem? I kind of lost my way. I don't know how to get back. Oh, no trouble there, Yorella. I know this high country better than anyone. Better than Thaura? Thaura? <laughs> oh, much better than him. <laughs> Come on, back to the stream. I'll point you in the right direction. There you go, Yorella. Just follow the stream to the next bend, look north, and you'll see the ram's head. Just aim for that. Thanks, Arrow. Thanks, sis. Bye again, and I'll see you both soon. <laughs> Bye. Safe journey, little brother. OK, Goonda. Let's head south. <laughs> <laughs> So Arrow finally won the day. And for the time being, the friendship of a beautiful, intelligent filly. One filly leaves the high country, but soon another will return. A golden filly, long gone. Return to renew her friendships and find out for herself if there is truth in the rumors she has heard on the plains. <laughs>